Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today we're going to do a kid up and chat. My new camera. <laughs> I hope I don't run out of space. If for some reason the quality shifts it's because I had to switch my phone. But anyway, welcome in everyone. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. How was your week? Was it good? Today I'm going to be kidding up The Cauldron of Myrrh by Diamond Art Club. I just unboxed this on the channel. It has 50 colors. It's by Ivy Delamore and it is a 56 by 74 centimeter square drill painting. I wanted to show you before we start filling the bags what I'm going to be doing. So we are going to be using an Elizabeth Ward bead container system. You can find these on places like Timu and AliExpress they're knockoffs. They probably work just as well. Unfortunately, from what I've researched, I don't think that they sell them anymore. If you like to shop in craft stores, uh, Michael's had them, maybe Joann's. Uh, they're used for like beads and, you know, little trinkets and stuff. But this is how I prep my containers. I first soak I know, ew, but I soak the label with a sticker remover. This is the one that I use because this is the one that's available to me in my area. Um, there's other name brands out there like Goo Gone, for example, but any kind of sticker remover will work. I take those face rounds that you can get from the chemist, the pharmacy, um, and I s soak them on the label like this. Um, <clears throat> then I take my tweezers and I just scratch that sticker off. The longer that you let them sit, the easier they are to remove. So I highly recommend just leaving them. Leave them there for a while. Now you're going to see that there's some residue. Just take, take that pad and wipe it off. That's why that one side was so gross. Like that, see, no more residue. I don't think, oh, there is a little bit there in the corner, okay. Just squish, 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 squish. Now it's all gone. Then I'll take a baby wipe or a face wipe or a cleaning wipe, whatever, and I just wipe that surface down so I can take off the residue and let that dry. Then, we're gonna prep our containers for the drills. So your method and mine might be a little bit different, but the way that Diamond Art Club packages their drills is by quantity. So if I start at the highest quantity bags, we've got 3371 here, and they're the fullest bags. We've got quite a lot of them, um, and we're gonna see how many we can fit into the bigger containers. I'm not worried about filling all of my containers. I just wanna get at least a bag into the container. So let's start off there. You can rip these bags off of the, the line. I'm gonna take one of these. I like to take a drill tray and put that underneath of my container just in case I get sloppy. I'm going to pour these into my container. Got a little bit of static in this bag. And I'm going to show you, I've got some stuff to try out and see if it'll work. Uh, some anti-static spray. So we're going to try that out. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I used to cut up dryer sheets, but I'm trying to get all the drills in there. And I did it, so that's good. And, but you can see, if I hold it like this... You'll see that the drills are like sticking to the sides. So we're gonna try. In my toolkit that came with this diamond painting, they gave me a really beautiful washi tape. So I'm going to take off, take out this washi tape, 
find the end and I'm going to try something new. I've heard about other people doing this and now it's my turn to try. My sticker is around the wrong way on the roll I think but anyway it doesn't matter. I'm going to neatly cut that. I don't want to get too pedantic with it and I'm going to put it on my container. I'm going to wrap it around the side because I'm going to show you what we're doing. Then grab your sticker paper with all of the symbols on it and we're looking for 3371 which is number 40. I'm going to grab that sticker and I'm going to get rid of that number because I don't use that number personally to identify my diamonds. I just want to see the symbol. That's all I care about, the symbol. Because um, I organize my diamond painting trays by symbol. Once I get all these diamonds in, I'll show you. But that's what I'm going to do with my sticker. I'm using the washi tape now because I heard that it's much easier to take off the containers at the end of your project. I don't want to have to Google on this anymore. <laughs> so. I'm going to go ahead and sit down, get comfortable, and we're just going to go through all the colors together and to chat about what's been going on in my life. What's been going on lately? There's been a lot of catching up that needs to be done between us. <laughs> um, I haven't been like regularly posting on YouTube in a long time because I've been really ill and some of you might know about this and some of you might not. It's okay if you didn't know. Um, I got really bad bronchitis and you'll probably hear me cough a little bit in this video as well but it's so much better <clears throat> It's so much better than it used to be, but I do seem to have a frog in my throat at the moment, so I hope you will forgive me for that. I have been drinking my water and everything, and it's still hanging out. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Um, oh, before I forget, I did, I did spray my hands and my clothes with this anti-static spray that I got from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it down below. Um, I'm just trying it out. I sprayed my hands, I sprayed my clothes, like I said. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work. Um, so yeah, I have just been kind of not feeling right, not feeling like myself lately. And if you've been really sick before, you might know what I'm, what I've gone through. I really felt like giving up on YouTube because of how, like, terrible <laughs> things felt. Um, and I've never felt like that before, and it scared me a bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, but all I really needed was a break. I just needed to take some time off. $37.99 time off and focus on, hi Luna, focus on my health for a little while. That in co combination with the fact that we're still kind of emotionally getting past my grandmother's passing and my mother-in-law's passing, so both of our families my husband and my families are suffering. We're grieving right now. Some days are fine and some days are hard. Um, I, I have days where I think about them um, and it's like, I don't know, it's just overwhelming some days to realize that she's not there you know, or they aren't there um, when you when you need them the most, when you need their advice, or when you, you know, 
just out of the blue, your brain is like, oh, I want to go, I want to go visit my mother-in-law today. Nope, can't do that. Oh, I want to ask her a question about, you know, baking this thing. Nope. Oh, hey, she's been here before. Maybe I should ask her. Nope. You know, and every time it's just another blow and it, and it's really sad and I've cried and I've talked to friends and everything and you know it's normal it's normal but um, I often when I'm not how do I put this when I'm not distracted by something else which I don't know about you but for me personally I tend to distract myself with things like um, you know with YouTube videos and Twitch streams and podcasts and you know whatever and I'll always be listening to something or you know engaging with somebody's content or you know something like that and it really distracts me from feeling much do you know and I think sometimes that's a blessing to have the ability to turn it off, but I don't know. It's, it's rough, y'all. I don't know. But I'm trying hard to move forward and, you know, I've been focusing on a lot of positive self-talk lately, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to stay healthy myself because there's nothing like a death in the family to make you so hyper aware of your own mortality, how much you don't want to pass away, that you're not ready. Like, well, in my case, anyway, I'm just not, I'm not ready. I'm not in a, in a bad place in my mind anymore. And I don't, I don't want to go anywhere right now. You know what I mean? Um... So I've been trying to stay healthy and then, you know, thinking about it constantly, trying <laughs> to get better and then getting stuck being sick for two months straight. That was rough. So I'm so happy that I'm back now, that I'm, you know, a fresh person. I don't have that awful cough anymore. It was... It was really, really rough. I was not expecting it to last that long. My doctor was quite concerned as well. So fingers crossed that it doesn't come back because some days are better than others. Like right now I'm kind of gulping to breathe, which is not fun. Um, but then again, I've been on my feet and I've been doing stuff, so maybe that's probably it too. But yeah, just take care of yourself. <laughs> take care of your health. It's very important, especially, oops, if you're younger. I mean, if you're older too, but if you're younger, like, it's so easy to, to keep up good health when you're young, I think. At least younger than me. <laughs> but anyway. That's looking so good. I don't know if you can see. Is it not? It's, it's focusing on her face instead of the... There we go. That looks so good with the washi tape. Let me move you down a bit. Hang on. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this angle is okay for you. <laughs> it's a little dark, but maybe it'll come out okay in the video. Uh, and what else is going on? I have been focusing on projects more you know, directly, like, I'm not switching projects a lot in my cross-stitching lately, 
And that feels really good because I'm getting a lot of progress that I hadn't seen in the, what, how long has it been now? Three years, three and a half years that I've been cross-stitching. I'm actually getting finishes now because I'm focusing on working on the project until it's done. And that's been kind of my motto this year. Um, but I am going to have to switch it up a little bit soon because of the holiday season. And I want, I want to work on other things. I want to work on projects with other people together. So we're going to be doing that. Um, Heike and I are working on a project together soon. I'm just moving over to the bigger bags because I just noticed that these are fuller than those. Hello, Luna. Hi, Luna. Luna says hi. Luna's doing very well. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? Hi, sweetie. I don't know. I don't think you can see her nose. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, she's she's doing very well, too. Nah. Um, her... Yeah, go lay down. Do you want to go back out? Go outside? No. What you want? Sorry. <laughs> what you want? Who's the bestest? Who's the bestest dog? It's a Luna. Yeah. It's a Luna. Do you need to go out? Are you hungry? Oh, that's what it is. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, she's doing great. She's been, she, she's just been thriving since her surgery. She had that, um, the lame leg amputated last year. And I was really worried about her and how she was going to cope afterwards. But actually, she's done so well. <laughs> she's really done so well. Oops. Oh, no. I'll just pour them into the tray. It's okay. Um, she's so much faster. But I do notice that people ask a lot, like, what happened? And I feel really guilty telling them the story of what happened. Because I do, I feel so responsible. It is my responsibility to make sure that she's safe. And I failed that day. So, you know, it gets me in my feels when I have to tell people what happened, um, but she's okay. Anyway, so what I was talking about earlier was projects that I'm working on and that I'm sticking with. Um, one of those projects is going to be a cross-stitching piece. Well, let's, let's start with diamond painting, shall we? Um, this piece is going to be my new focus piece for the next while. I can't tell you if I'm going to have this done for drills and chills or not. I'm not going to enter into the giveaways or anything like that, but I will. I do, I do love working on Halloween art. <laughs> and this painting is so pretty. So I'd love, I'd love to work on it with you. And a lot of you said that you wanted to see me do this. Whoops, what number is this? 3834. 3834. And so I I was I was excited to see how you all felt about it. And I'm glad that you said that I should do it. Um it's beautiful. It's it looks like it's gonna be really quick, hopefully. But like I said, I am leaving soon, so I'm gonna go back to Virginia for two weeks and visit family and get stuff done there that needs to be done. I might talk about that a little later, but trying to focus, <laughs> trying to focus and keep one tr thread of thought at once, but that can be really tough for me sometimes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm, 
I'm also going to be working on some cross stitch projects and some knitting projects during the next few months. Especially since I consider like, I consider September, October, and November to be the like fall months. Well, they are the fall months technically, the autumn autumnal months, but um, I'm going to be working on some cross stitch that I'm excited about. And if you're, if you're wondering where my cross stitch videos went, I have moved them onto a new channel. I decided to separate diamond painting and cross stitch because I know that there are a lot of people who don't want to see both. So this is a diamond painting only channel now. If you want to see cross stitch, please go and subscribe to Rachel Ray Fiber Arts. Please, please, please. All right, I'm looking through my colors to see if there's any other large bags and there aren't, so we're just gonna keep going and filling these up. Um, so yes, it's called Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, and it's a really beautiful chart. You may have seen it before, but if you're not into cross-stitching, maybe not. This piece is huge. Um, it's like uh, 250 by 350 or something stitches. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm going to look for you here in a second. I'm just trying to do this quickly so I don't forget the number of the diamond, which is 209. There we go. Um, I actually got it right below me. I want to start it as soon as possible because I've got, if I can reach it, can I, is that it? That's it, okay. Um, I've also got a new start planned for the 15th of this month, but here is the picture of the finish. So that's what it's going to look like. Isn't that amazing? I apologize if you can hear James's um, podcast, by the way. He's lost, <clears throat> excuse me. He lost his Bluetooth headset, so. Ah, hi Luna, hello again. I'll put this here while I look for the size of the pattern so you can see it. Hi sweetie, I need you to go lay down, maybe? Do you mind? Hi, there's a squishy face. There we go, it's on the back. 371 wide by 278 high. So bigger than I said. <laughs> it's huge. And there are blocks here, like this block right here is fully stitched. It's a full stitch. Whereas like these have the fabric peeking out behind them. This one's almost full except for that top part where it says we are not afraid. But yeah, the, it's so cool. I'm trying to do it in order. And we have the witches. That's the block that I'm on right now. Scarecrow and pumpkins. I love the swamp. Yes. So it is really cool and I have always wanted to stitch it. I started it in 2021 and it's going to take a really long time to finish, but oops. Well, we needed better light anyway, right? Move that closer. Hopefully it'll stay. 
Um, I'm going to be working on that with my friend Heike, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. We decided to um, work on it together because she ended up, like I bought the paper chart, well we both bought the paper chart, but she's very talented and input it into um, a design software that'll help us to stitch it faster. Basically, it'll work with Pattern Keeper. And I know that we're, we're not sharing that with anyone. Um, <clears throat> you can do it yourself if you buy the software, but you know, you're not supposed to share those things. And we're gonna do that and hopefully we'll get good progress on it. I work much faster when I'm working from a digital pattern. I really love them. I know, I know that some designers feel like it's problematic and I understand that, but I hope that, you know, people's ethics kick in and they just do the right thing. Cause you, you know that sharing digital patterns is wrong. Right? I mean, that's like 101 in, in cross-stitch. It's kind of like, you know, buying licensed work is a diamond painting for me. And I know that there's going to be people out there that do it anyway. That's not going to be me, right? So anyway, all that to say that I'm looking forward to starting that up and really getting a good a good amount of it done in the next few months. And also, I'm going to be starting a stitch along. I said I was not going to do stitch alongs this year. I was like, no stitch alongs for me, okay? But I changed my mind because a designer that I love, they're their handle is Bella Filipina. Um, he's doing his first ever stitch along with a pattern that he's designed. I just can't say no. I, I don't want to say no. It His work is so beautiful. So I pulled fabric from my stash and I ordered all of the DMC and everything. Um, I hope that it arrives in time. I might send an email to the website that I ordered from. I order all of my DMC threads from Casa Sanina. They're an Italian online needle workshop. And anyway, they, they're usually really good about separating items if there's a delay. And it's been, been a couple weeks now. So, 327 is next. We're flying through this. I don't know if I'm going to be here the whole time or not. But anyway, I also, speaking of diamond painting, I went and I looked through some Etsy shops. And I found a small business that I want to try out. So I have ordered some new putty from the UK. I couldn't find any European sellers of Diamond Penny Putty. So just to give them a give them a go, see what it's like. I'm sure it's great. I've been watching some, like I was saying last time, I've been watching some TikTokers and stuff and the, the accessories that they use are so cool. I ordered a diamond painting tray as well. That is on its way from the States. I know I splurged. Um, yeah, so I've just been treating myself because I was like, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick and I need to take my mind off of things, you know. And that's what I've been doing. Um, so a lot of you asked about the move. Um, we are not going to be moving as soon as I thought we were. So originally I thought that we were going to be moving this winter, but it looks like 
we're going to be waiting until springtime, but that's still a question mark. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen, and nothing happens fast around these parts. <laughs> so, um, it's just, we're going to stay at our home for a while yet. We're moving just two kilometers away. We're moving into the family home. It was willed to us. So we're going to be making that move. And I'll be honest with you, um, it's, it's going to be a big change. Um, and it's going to take a lot of effort because we have been living here for seven Hang on. We moved in in 2005. Hold on. When did we move here? 15. 2015. So, yeah, it's been eight years. No, seven years. Seven full years. <laughs> um, seven years since we moved in so we have a lot of stuff and I need to go through and really declutter um it's it's gonna take a while so you know I gotta figure out what to do with all my paperwork and stuff you know it's just a, it's a lot it's a lot so I'm kind of glad that we're not having to move during the holidays like that would be really tough but I am anxious to get in um, because it'll be it'll be nice to live in town. It'll be nice to save money uh, and not be renting anymore. That's gonna be huge. We can save our money then. And in this economy, like every penny helps, you know. So. Unfortunately, not in the winter time, but hopefully soon ish, right? Yeah, we've got this is like the, the strand of drills that never ends. <laughs> 779. Trying to think of what else is going on. I've been seeing some new diamond painting shops pop up and open, which is exciting to see. I love it when new shops come and license artwork because you know the it's it's just it's just really lovely to see it in our community where people care and they're paying attention to detail and it gives people options you know I do wish that there were more European sellers I will say that um, and I hope personally I hope that my confetti bug comes back because all of the diamond paintings that I have in the wings right now are all confetti heavy pieces and I really <laughs> would like to be able to work on those and get those finished I had to or I made the decision to um, toss a couple of diamond paintings that I had intended to work on. There were a couple from shops that are no longer in business. So for me and for you, I feel like there's really no point. Oh, a pink AB went in there. Get that out. They went out of business, so and I don't even know when they went out of business. Um, they were Diamond Dash Paintings. Dot UK. The website is still like showing you their homepage, but you can't click anything on the website. 
like every time you click something, it just circles right back to the home page. So they're gone. There's no way to contact them, I don't think. And I did. I feel really bad because I spent a lot of money on that painting. But um, I think I just spent like 80 or 90. Was it euros or pounds? Because, geez, if it was pounds, I'm a fool. But it was um, it was like a canvas, uh, like legitimate, like painting canvas material with double-sided adhesive on it. And yeah, it yellowed like crazy. So I was like, well, it's not in great condition. It doesn't look good. It felt like, you know, I could have bought like adhesive. There's... There's adhesive that you can buy that makes, if you peel off the double-sided adhesive, it'll make it poured glue, right? You could buy the poured glue and then apply it yourself. But that's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I know that there are people out there that would do it. I do. I know that. 986. I'm not sure if Stitcherista's done that or not. Let me know in a comment if uh, if you've seen anybody do that but um, I, I personally haven't I I feel like uh, my camera turned off hopefully it wasn't that long ago that's weird maybe the f I can't make a file size bigger than a certain point I don't know still learning a lot about this camera <laughs> For those of you wondering, it's a Canon EOS 250D. But yeah, um, <clears throat> if, if there is interest, I can look into doing that. But the problem for me, personally, is that those images that I have left over on a double-sided adhesive canvas are not li legally licensed. I don't have any more double-sided adhesive paintings in my collection that are legally licensed, unfortunately. And there are some of them that I'm keeping because I paid good money for them. And I, you know, when I retire or something, um, you know, maybe I'll do them, maybe I won't, who knows. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't know any legally licensed company with double-sided adhesive. Although, hang on. Well, there is, uh, I do know that Diamond Painting Deutschland has double-sided adhesive for some of their paintings. I don't think it's all their paintings. I think they do poured glue as well. Ma'am, yeah. it's okay. Um, so yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know if buying, like for example, if I bought a diamond painting Deutschland, that's a hundred and almost 150 euro for the painting, and then going to the extreme of peeling off all that adhesive. They're huge paintings as well. I don't know if that's feasible for me, but if it's something that you want to see, I could try to make it happen. I feel like. Is there a weird smell? Hmm. I did I did light some incense in the other room, so maybe that's what maybe that's what I'm smelling. But yeah. That's that's it for that. I am I am sorry that I haven't been around. I honestly I have been wanting to make videos. If you are in my vlog club over on Patreon, you know, I've just been, it's been a little bit of a struggle, honestly, the last couple of months, but my heart is there, but my body was not. And I do have some really cool things in the works for you all. I've got things that I can't talk about, that I am so excited for. I, I can't tell you anything about it, but you'll get sneaks of it. 
Uh, and then the thing that's not quite a secret is that Theory Tuesday is coming back, but it's it's going to be a little different. Season season three. <laughs> and James is so excited. I Well, we're both excited, but we have a whole theme and outlines and all kinds of stuff. So I hope that you will tune in for those. I will be diamond painting during those videos. I will not be doing like random crafts because I noticed that it didn't draw people in if I did any other craft, which is weird because I'm just talking, but okay, you know, I understand. Um, another thing, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I know this is very like behind the veil or whatever, like Wizard of Oz kind of stuff, but I was looking at my analytics. Y'all, every time that I show Diamond Art Club, I get a bunch of thumbs down. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it's because I have told some of y'all to thumbs down my comment content before, but this is very, um, it's usually unboxing videos and I just get loads of thumb downs. So I don't know what's going on and who has beef or whatever, but like, <laughs> I feel like it's so petty and it's, it's funny to me. 3778. Cause I know it's not me, <laughs> but like, why? <laughs> whatever. Anyway, express yourself, right? But what else is going on? Okay, so this weekend, it as I'm filming this, it is Saturday. I'm hoping to get this up to you on Saturday, but it'll probably be Sunday. It'll probably be Sunday before this video goes live because I imagine that this will take a long time to upload. It won't take too long to edit, but it will take a long time to upload. So if you're seeing this on Sunday, hi, happy Sunday. Um, or whenever. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Where was I going? What was I going to tell you about? What were we going to talk about? <gasps> oh my gosh. I've lost it. I've lost my train of thought. Anyway, I have really exciting videos coming this week for you. 3609 is this one. Um, I have a post review that I just made for a diamond painting that I got a long time ago. I hope that you enjoy it. it it's, y'all, this camera is just like so good. It's so good. Um, and I'm very impressed with the quality and how it shows the diamonds and everything. So, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing your response to it. I don't think I have a sneak peek for a while, but that's okay. Um, I do have other, like, diamond paint. Oh, that one's concave anyway. Um, I do have diamond painting unboxings that I need to get out to you. Uh, and other videos that I've promised that I haven't been able to make like how to work on a large diamond painting and stuff like that. And I have something really cool to show you, so stay tuned because it is coming and it's going to be awesome. I'm I'm excited. I found I found a thing that's going to make working on large diamond paintings really really easy. So, like a thing that you can get that you can buy or you can find. Maybe you have better access to it than I did. 758. Here we go. Oh, duh. I remember what I was talking about earlier. Tomorrow is my seven year anniversary with James. So we are going out tonight, Saturday night, for dinner. And it's going to be a three chorus out in an art place. What time is it now? Fitbit. Hello? 
It is four o'clock. Okay, it's not so late. I thought it was later. Whoa! Like our first big spill. Okay. Um, so we're going out to dinner tonight. And I'll be honest, I want to go to dinner and then I want to come home. <laughs> Because we, we are just, I don't know, we're kind of homebodies these days. It's just been a really hard, as you know, couple of months, years. Going out can be emotionally draining, <laughs> as well as the pocketbook. 9.15. So we're just a bit conscious, and also I really want to save my money and go on a holiday. Like, I want to go to a sunny, warm place where I don't have to, like, you know, think about anything. <laughs> not think about work, not think about taking care of the house or making videos or anything, you know what I mean? So I need to save money in order to do that. Okay, I need to get more of the smaller containers, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I had to, I had to go into another set and get a bunch of the small, the small ones. But these have labels still on them, so we're gonna remove some more labels, and uh, and keep chatting. So, um, yeah. Other than, other than you know, getting healing and getting better, I'm trying to think about what else has been going on. Um, to be honest, I've just been keeping pretty quiet, like staying in and not doing too much. The weather here has been pretty awful this summer. Like it's very, very wet and rainy. And I know it's supposed to be wet and rainy in Ireland, but like it's just, it's been nonstop. Everybody's been talking about how like down it's been making them feel. And um, yeah, honestly, I could probably use a bit of sun. And that's why I'm very excited that I'm going back to Virginia for two weeks because I know that the weather's gonna be good. It's always pretty sunny. And um, I come from the Richmond area, so that's where I will be heading. A lot of you were asking me like where in Virginia I am, but I'm not, I'm not there full time. I only go back to visit family like once a year or once every two years or so. Um, I will be going back actually in April as well because we're going to Stitch North, which I'm very excited about. I'll be at the second weekend of Stitch North. So if anybody else is going, I'll see you there. Um, I'm going to be with James and we're gonna be there for, well, we'll be in Canada for a week and then we'll come back down to Virginia for a week. And it's gonna be a pretty epic holiday, so I've gotta save up for that as well. And uh, you know, it's not it's not easy, <laughs> and it's not cheap going abroad, unfortunately. Um, but I did manage to get my plane ticket, so I'm our plane ticket. So I'm very excited that I was able to get a good deal on them. Um, if you you know purchase your ticket well in advance when the schedules are made for the next, um, what do they call it? I used to, I used to work for Aer Lingus, so I used to know the lingo, but I haven't used it in a long time, but they have like schedules that they create to, flight schedules that they put out, and, um, the way that it works is that the lowest fares, the cheapest tickets, are going to be the first ones available, and they just go up after that. So if you're getting a last minute flight, of course it's going to be way more expensive than if you plan like six months in advance. Um, and if you go onto a site like Skyscanner or whatever to have a look, you'll see if, if it tells you that the date isn't available yet, then they haven't created the schedule for that block of time yet. Um, if I remember correctly, they do it twice a year. So, and sometimes you'll find really good deals right when they, you know, when they put out that schedule. 
Um, I know that Aer Lingus particularly used to have these discounted fares going to the States or going to Europe or wherever, and they would they would run a sale, but it's not really a sale, y'all. It's just lower fares because they just released the tickets. Um, but yeah, it's worth paying attention to the time and also making sure that you get your tickets early. So, okay, now we've cleaned those off. Whoops. And thrown them all over the place. Oh, you can't see the tray. I'm going to turn it so that you can see me fill the rest of these. I also found my really pretty um, cover. So I've got some of my larger diamond paintings on there and I'm going to put Bayou Lady and this one on there when we're done. So I'm excited about that. All right. So let's fill up some more containers and keep going. Um, yeah, so there's some exciting stuff happening coming up that I'm really looking forward to. And uh, I've also just like more health stuff, I guess. I have been taking a lot of vitamins lately and I wasn't really into the vitamin thing before. Um, I guess I used my immune system to, you know, try to justify not having to take medicines and vitamins and stuff. But now that I'm getting older and wiser, I guess, I've just realized that I need, I need the boost. I need that little extra oomph. You know? You've got food now. I went and fed her. You've got your food. It's okay. Um, started taking a really high dosage of vitamin D and I take a multivitamin and I take B12. And those things I've noticed have really helped my overall like mood. <laughs> I feel happier and I find it easier to do things. I was really finding it difficult for a while and I was like convinced that there was something seriously wrong with me. And uh, my doctor, when I was in for all the bronchitis issues I was having, he was like, well, I think you need to seriously consider these, these vitamins. And I was like, okay. And since I've started regularly taking them every day, I've noticed a big difference. So I think that a reason that I was kind of like not on board with vitamins was because in my family, it's a little taboo to be taking pills. I think there was something, something must have happened in my grandmother's life that made her very weary of, of pills in general, you know, um, even the good ones. Um, so as a kid, I didn't take a multivitamin. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I I was not in the in used to taking them, and I just didn't believe that there would be a much of a benefit. But it turns out that I was very wrong. I was very very wrong about that. So definitely make sure that you're taking vitamins and taking care of yourself because you deserve it. You deserve to be happy. And it's the easiest way, I think, you know, some people are like, oh, food is the easiest way to change, which might be true, but I think that vitamins get you there faster, especially, I have a couple of food allergies that have been kind of wrecking my life, I'll be honest, until I figured out what it was, 
uh, I was in a lot of pain and I'm allergic to red meat. So anytime that I eat beef, I, I just can't, I can't, it, it really upsets my stomach and I've tried several times to go back to it to, you know, make sure that that's really the problem and it is every single time so you know they they are intertwined but as far as like mental health goes drinking water like a, I mean a lot of water I started drinking um four or five of those 40 ounce tumblers of water every day I find it easier if I have a drinking vessel with a straw to get all of my water in and it's improved my skin and everything like everything seems to be working way better now <laughs> so yeah I, I think focusing on my health is my priority right now but it's also just like getting used to taking care of myself and not just ignoring my health and saying, oh, well, you know, I'm still young, so, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, I'm not that young anymore. So I know that I'm younger than a lot of you watching, but I'm, I'm getting to that point where my body needs help. <laughs> I'm not 20 something. I can't bounce back from things as easily as I could before. And that kind of stinks. That, that realization was a little difficult to wrap my brain around, but it's true. So yeah, but I'm, I'm looking forward. Hi Luna. Hi baby. I know. I know it's unfair. I know. Go, go have some dinner. You're fine. You're fine. Everything is good. Everything is awesome. You're going to be fine. We're on the last strip, y'all. Uh, the... I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. Make it easier on us. And then we're going to sort them into... by, by symbol. Because right now, I'm for the ease of kitting this up, I'm just doing them in the size container that I need. Which obviously we're all on the small containers now. Just to get all the colors into the one box. But ooh, the smell of that sticker remover is very strong. I don't like it. But... Yeah, I've, I've gone back to Twitch, so I'm streaming on Twitch again, which is really fun. Um, I enjoy spending time there. I'm only there twice a week, but if you're interested, you can find me there, and um, we're just chilling, you know. There's, it's just where we can talk about crafts, and we can hang out. It's a nice, chill space. I don't I don't let it get too chaotic in there because I know that a lot of people like to craft with me and they don't want a bunch of sounds and a bunch of chaos. Now, if I have a bonus stream where I do something different, like gaming or uh, we once we had a tipsy stream, that was very fun, um, where I raised money for charity. Um, probably not going to do that again. <laughs> I was crying after that. Um, but yeah, there, unless it's something, you know, different and not on my normal schedule, uh, it's a very chill, relaxed place to hang out, share your projects, like what you're working on right now. And, um, I'd recommend it. I, th I think it's nice. Especially there's people that come in to hang out while they're at work. Some people work from home. 
and uh, it's cool to have it on in the background. You can jump in and out of conversation as you like. And yeah, I'd invite you to come over and check it out someday. I stream at 1 p.m. Irish time or UK time. Ireland is not in the UK, but we share a time zone. Um, that is 8 a.m. Eastern time. So I think soon we're going to have a time change again, aren't we? We're going to go back to the winter time. Winter time is standard time, isn't it? Oops. There were a couple of diamonds that fell into the tray. There we go. So yeah, and I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea and that's fine, but there are lots of reasons why I don't stream on YouTube. Um, most of all, it's because I always have connection issues. I don't understand what YouTube's problem is, but it doesn't like me. <laughs> 355, oops. Um, it really, it really doesn't like me, so I decided to start streaming on Twitch, and that is what I do. And sometimes I'll import the video to YouTube, especially if it's not too heavy. Like, sometimes, you know, I, I try to keep it real, and we're, we talk about mental health and stuff. And sometimes people need, you know, need a place to talk about things. If the stream isn't too heavy, I'll post it on YouTube. But there are times where I don't post them, so you can find them for a limited amount of time, usually like a month. You'll be able to re-watch them on Twitch if you want. But just so that you know, just as a heads up, I do cuss. Like, I do curse. Um, I don't curse on YouTube. And I know that a lot of people have a problem with that. So if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Um, because that is just the way that I talk. <laughs> and I'm not going to change it for anybody. The only reason I don't do that here is because I know, I know that some people watch my videos with their kids. Or there might be a younger audience and I don't know uh, who's watching. Whereas with Twitch, it's very easy for me to tell um, if someone who's underage is in there. And most of the time, the people in my chat are not watching me with their children. And so I feel a lot more comfortable just being myself and talking the way that I normally do. If I had come on here at the beginning and 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 just talk the way that I normally talk, then you know I I would I wouldn't feel weird about it because um, I know that there are people that do that. But for the most part, I try to keep this like not even PG, like G <laughs> G rated. Um, but I do you know me? I do talk about mental health and struggles and stuff like that because it, it, these these videos in particular are very open and vulnerable and obviously not scripted because I always forget what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, oops, There's a couple of these. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. I want to be able to finish this with you all on the one video. <laughs> I do. Okay, I went ahead and I, I made a cut there so that we won't run out of time on the camera. So yeah, what else is going on? How is everything with you? Are you excited for the holiday season? And by holiday season, I'm definitely including Halloween in there. I know that I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited not for like 
cold wet weather but just for a change I'm hoping that the um I do hope that this winter it's gonna be dry and I know that's a lot to ask but considering the amount of rain that we got this summer like the wettest what was which which month was it I think it was May or June anyway one of the one of the months it was the wettest on record like since they started making records of stuff <laughs> of, of weather um, and we were not surprised then a couple two weeks ago I think we had a storm and it just dumped rain like what ended up happening was uh, we were out and we were all just kind of enjoying go to bed go to bed please Luna bed you're tip tapping all over the place and it's probably driving people nuts um, we went out and I think we were visiting yeah we were visiting with Rory my brother-in-law and he got called back to the restaurant because he's a chef um, he owns his own restaurant and he got called back by his wife and we didn't see him again so we called we sent a message and we got a call at 1 30 in the morning and he was like you're never gonna believe what happened I think I've told the story of the first time this happened um, so if you've been here for a while this is gonna sound familiar but the back of his restaurant he he had an extension built so that he could push the kitchen back and give more seating the back door was closed and there was water just like sitting there on the outside of the door up to his thighs. It was crazy. And so, yeah, we we had a lot of rain in just one night that happened. So all the rain from the mountain came down and just went right into the back of the restaurant. It was crazy. Everything is okay now, but like, <laughs> yeah, uh, they were out there trying to, to get, to get it under control. Um, it was quite scary. So that was, that was that. I'm trying to think of like other exciting things that have happened. <laughs> Maybe not that, that kind of exciting, but, um, Hmm. We've been watching some TV. I think we, we just finished Good Omens 2. I don't know if you've seen Good Omens or not. I definitely recommend it. It was it it's a very nice show. I like it a lot. It's it's funny. It's based off of the book by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. And uh I like it a lot. <laughs> I love the book. I read the book, was it in high school or in uni? I can't remember, but it was a while ago I read that book and loved the book. Loved that they came out with a show and it's David Tennant. It's, ugh. it's, it's very fun. I like it a lot. Let's see, 898. There were a couple of bits in it that were hit or miss for me. Miss ma'am. Miss ma'am. What you doing? What you doing? Anyway. Um, yeah, there was, there were a couple of scenes where I was like, mm, that didn't feel natural or that didn't quite feel like it worked, but I don't know. I, I overall, I really enjoyed the experience of watching it. And I'm really excited because the Wheel of Time Season 2 is coming out soon. And I want, I have high hopes. Or maybe I have medium hopes. But the Wheel of Time is a series by Brian, 
No, who wrote it first? Robert Jordan. And then, unfortunately, Robert Jordan passed away and Brian Sanderson finished it. 166. Um, I've only read to book seven out of 14. So I got halfway and then I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I have the, the energy, but I, I will someday finish because I, I did get all the books. I went hunting for the hardback versions. It's like, I'm going to find all of these books secondhand and it's going to be amazing. And it is amazing. Um, in fact, ooh, um, there is a book series that I am interested in getting. It's a kids book series. Um, I was reminded of it a couple of days ago, and then I went on this like internet sleuthing search. And I know that a couple of you watching, a couple, <laughs> a few of you anyway, watching are parents of small children. And this book series is recommended for kids in like the 10 year old range, eight, nine, 10 range. I read this book when Scholastic, you know, the Scholastic book fairs are on and stuff like that. The book, the original book was written in, I think it was 1994. So it was a new book for us when I, when I was growing up. But anyway, it's called Into the Land of the Unicorns by Brian C. I can't remember his surname. I know it starts with a C. And I loved the book. Um, and every once in a while, that that story pops up in my mind. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get these books. He just came out with... He came out with a new published version of all of the books. Uh, I would love to get the original books because I love the, the covers. The cover art is incredible. Um, but anyway, you can buy the series. If you're looking for like a, a really, well, a highly recommended series from me anyway, um, into the Land of the Unicorns, and he's self-published it, and you pre-order it, it's like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, for the whole series, and I think it's seven books, and he will sign it for you. If you, in the order notes, if you say that you want it signed, he'll have it signed, which is very generous. So I'm thinking about getting it, but at the moment he's only shipping to the US and maybe Canada but definitely not here. So I have to really think about it. But he's getting up there in age, so I better I better make a move on it soon. 322, if I want to get the signed version. But I, I really, really like the originals. Like I said, the original cover art is just chef's kiss. Um, what else? to think of other things. <laughs> I know I've probably been on here for an absolute age. I hope I'm not boring anybody to tears yet. But this kind of takes some time. Oh my gosh, these are flying. Come on. Static. Let go. Come on. Uh, one thing that I haven't been doing lately is I haven't been doing my nails. I'm giving my nails a break, which is why you'll see they, they're like peeling a lot. And um, I think it's because I ripped off. I was really annoyed and I ripped off my last set of nails. I should not have done that. I should have waited until I was home and soaked my nails. I made a real rookie move and then it destroyed a couple of my nails. So I haven't put on any stickers or anything in a while. You know, I usually use the press-ons, but I haven't been using them. And I have a really cute set <laughs> and I want to wear them so bad. 
but they're also super long. Um, so I might, I might have to file them down a little bit to make them a little bit more easy for me. Cause I can, I can do like a bit of a nail, but not like a super long nail. If, if it interferes with my ability to cross stitch, it's uncomfortable and I won't wear them. <laughs> That's my only caveat for nails, but I haven't been worrying about it too much lately because you know, it's, it is what it is, right? So let me see. I'm gonna put that there and I can fit these in. Can I fit them all in? Is there gonna be, there's gonna have to be a one, two, three, four, five, uh-oh. There's gonna be one. I'll, I'll deal with it later. Because I'll just take one of these colors and move it into a smaller one and it'll be fine. But I'll have to take the labels off and I don't want to do that when I'm here spending time with you because we've already spent so much time doing this. Like I said, I was hoping to have this up today. Fingers crossed I can have this up today. We'll see. I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. 433 but yeah it's been it's been a really I'm gonna say it it's been a difficult summer um, but you know I've learned so much from all the stuff that I've been through lately and Life always, it isn't always, you know, roses and cakes and what's the, what's the saying? I'm really bad at sayings, by the way. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like my brain just can't remember how to say things properly. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think, I think that next year will be a good, really good year for all of us. I'm hoping anyway that, you know, a lot of the hardships are behind us and we can move forward and really start to enjoy life. Losing people changes your perspective on a lot of stuff. So I just feel ready for change and ready for a new a new path I guess I don't have to live in the past or you know worry about there's a lot of stuff that I don't have to worry about anymore which I had been worrying about for years and that on its, on its own feels amazing um, but ooh. sometimes the drills get stuck in between here. You have to shake them down. Oh, one, two, three. Yes, that is right. We're almost there. So what did you get done on your craft while you were listening to this video? I would love to see what you're working on if you have Instagram, just tag me in your photo, um, either in the text field or in the, um, the picture itself. And I'll have a look, because I, I really like seeing what y'all have worked on and what you're doing while you're watching my videos. It, it makes me happy. <laughs> I like it. Um, Hopefully now I can work on this and really get far on it. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath though because I know that I'm a slow diamond painter. Um, there are there are people who are so much faster than me, but it's not a race, you know, and um, I want to enjoy this one. There's so much purple in it and you know me and purple. I love purple. 
all the browns are going to be fine because they are in her skin. And there's these really cool flowers around. And it's just it's so, so pretty. Also, the, the ABs and the cauldron. Amazing. Oh no, those are all static. Uh, all right, let's let's try something. I know, I know, this is probably bad, but let's spray a little anti-static. Oh, look at them fall out. Most of them, anyway. There we go. I know you probably shouldn't like put wet. You know what? I'm just going to leave those to the side. <laughs> I'll come back to them. And we'll do this last one together. And yeah, then I'm going to do the alphabet, go order them from alphabet, and then there'll be numbers and then keyboard symbols. And then I do shapes. So like any arrows, or directional looking symbols. I'll do those. And I might do those and then come back to you so that you don't have to hear all of the banging of the, the thingies. And also this video is probably long enough. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice. It was nice catching up with you again. I'm gl I'm glad that all my health stuff is done. So now we can have fun again. <laughs> but yeah, let me get these in order and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm done. Here we go. These are all the stickers on the top, and then that's what all of the cases look like. Such an incredible palette. I love that color palette. So that's it everybody thank you so much for watching i hope that you all have a wonderful wonderful day take care and stay safe out there and i'll see you soon in my next video take care everybody bye <laughs>